From small things, big things one day come. Welcome to Pint Sized. Let me tell you about Rutland. Rutland is the smallest county in mainland England. It has a nice lake, a nicer church, and an even nicer brewery. Oakham Ales is one of my favourite breweries in the country. Founded in 1993, they're one of the most respected names in craft brewing, and they've got a worldwide reputation for an innovative approach and for the quality and consistency of their brews. Now relocated to Peterborough, Oakham have been producing great beers for years, from their permanent range which includes such demons as JHB, Citra and Bishop's Farewell, to some seasonal ales, ciders, bottles, vintage, aged beers and kegs. What makes Oakham even more special is that since 2006, a wing of their brewery has been located at the Brewery Tap in Peterborough. And according to Oakham, this makes this pub the largest brew pub in Europe. And I, why haven't I gone? Scarlet McCaw is one of their most popular beers, and it's been in their permanent range since it replaced White Dwarf in 2012. Tart gooseberry, soft peach, and an intense bitterness that's as sharp as a McCaw's screech. I don't know what that sounds like. Okay. This 4.4% beauty was sent over to us by our beer boffins at ebria.com where you can get some of the best British beers straight from the crafty hands of the producers. Cra crafty hands. Cra crafty hands. Danny Draps. It's been dubbed a skillful blend of two hop varieties from the Yakima Valley in Washington State. Amarillo, which gives the beer its spicy fruity character, and Summit, the most pugnacious of all American hops. What the hell does pugnacious mean? Here we go, Scarlet McCaw, lovely amber colour, loads of carbonation there, lovely creamy, soft looking white head. I'm getting grapefruit. Mmm. It's that fresh morning grapefruit, pine, tropical fruit, just refreshing, lovely smell that you get from beers that have been made with love. Mmm. Ah! I can't stop sipping this. It's explosively hoppy, tropical fruit, but it's not too artificially juicy. There's a little bit of smoky, almost herby bitterness in there. That is, it's unbelievably hoppy, uh, but doesn't doesn't really taste over hot, like artificially hopped. I don't believe it's been dry hopped, so this is just purely from the initial brew. This is just, this is just astounding. This is what Oakham do perfectly. It's sublimely tasty, unbeatably Moorish, and just brilliantly made. It's complex, it's interesting. In my mind, it's almost flawless. This is just a beautiful, beautiful beer. Good work, Oakham. So there you go, out of the smallest county in the UK has come one of the biggest beers I've ever had. Thanks for watching Pint Size. Remember to subscribe if you like what you saw. Like, comment, and like us on Facebook too. And I'll see you next time.